Open the door, how do I know? Stillness means end or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself But someone was listening when I called for help Damn, I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. I'm not about to leave before I've gotten a few good photos of this joint. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive.
Wait for it. Go! Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. I'm so glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ew. That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Oh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. The job I was born for. So what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. Gotcha, boss. Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Oof. Hey, partner in grime. Come check this out. I'm glad Soppy's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. Looks almost like a face. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? 
I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Almost like a face. What are you smiling about? Nothing. I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self portrait. Pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies. <laughs> I don't go in for angels or demons. People are nasty enough all on their own. Don't I know it. God, I haven't been bold. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. I remember. Weird kid. Fun party, though. There was an ice cream cake. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. I'm so glad Sophie showed. These haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust.
figured out what your focus is going to be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Glad Soppy's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it razed to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. Something was worth preserving back when they closed this place down. for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, it doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Don't ever talk to me or my sons again. Behold, everyone's least favorite part of bowling. Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. For 
for sale. Bowling shoes. Extremely warm. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! <sighs> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> Excuse you! Do you really think I'm the kind of girl who would just send foot pics to anyone? Always the quiet ones, Max. Always. <laughs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy. For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely warm. No thanks, I value my ankles. My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. Aw, oh, hey! My very own Mr. Peanut on meth! Life finds a way. I could never resist a deal. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh. Oh, Doug, no. Rewind hasn't worked in years, but still, old habits die hard. Do gumballs have an expiration date? I'll pass.
Is this seizing the means of production? Is this seizing the means of production? No way I'm leaving here without a photo of that mobile. This is it. This is my shot. You okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? What? I said, how are your... What? I said... You're fucking with me, aren't you? I'll keep looking. Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. Okay, time to get that photo. I wish I could do my eyeliner like that. And my hair. I'm guessing that's the right room. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Pretty sure I can get a...
Yes, this is the angle I need. service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap. Uh, you sure this thing's safe? Nope. Starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Ugh. Beautiful, this one. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Matt. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Cosmopolitan for Max, vodka shot for Safi, very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? I 
there is a just and loving God, sleep. Today has been a doozy. Ah. Well, sweet dreams. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Did you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? when I was a kid. Must have been some friend if you still keep her picture in your wallet. Don't use your daytime TV shrink voice on me. New subject. No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? My senior year. Oh, shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You want to talk about something else? God, yes. Deal. Amanda, thoughts? I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. So fucking over it. Like I haven't heard of that one before. I'm serious about it this time. I'm about to fly off the handle here. came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. How do you do, fellow kids? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here, or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> 
will all be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> She asks her out. I saw what was in your pocket, baby. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. When in New England, do as the New Englanders do. The people have spoken. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. I thought I was Khaled Hunt's resident Polaroid taker. Maybe someone else has taken the plunge. Ah, undergrads. There's no way this is meant to be like this. Way to go. Safi is too excited about my social life. Why are you talking to me? Talk to her. Okay, okay. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing.
gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Me? And I cannot stress this enough. Huh. to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. I wonder what that's like. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. All right, I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being, though I could always get more pickup line ideas. Good beer. Good ethics. What else could you ask for? Telltale signs of a 10 coffee all nighter. If I want to get on that board, I'm going to need some extra help. If Amanda's notice anything to go by, this canvas placement isn't part of the artist's vision. Nap in peace, my friend. Someone in here has a juicy pickup line I could use.
terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. Oh, <laughs> you're good. All right, I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being. Though I could always get more pickup line ideas. Safi is too excited about my social life. Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. to need some extra help. Just talk to her, Max. You know how to talk. Usually. Busy night. Oh, Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now. You are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman. Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. Mercury must be in retrograde. Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Uh, lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school. Cringe-worthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. She's back from the bathroom. Maybe now we'll have time to chat. Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. 
How did you? It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass, rich kid secret society? Bite your tongue. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. They're great. The um, guitar solos, the vo the vocals. So, you've never heard of them? Ugh, fuck. Busted. Don't hate me, please. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Those photos on the wall over there, is that your family? Yep, all six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? I know a great way to burn off the calories in that drink. There is something hot about a cute girl using a trashy frat bro line, but it's not gonna get you on the board. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Linkport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a revenge horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a misery cult. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? That's why I asked. Friend thing it is. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are a total blur. <laughs> but a man is really cool. How's this? Hey. <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, cause I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? 
there's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come, both of you. That's perfect. All we need is, hold on. <laughs> She's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max, you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my God, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just, okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me. I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn. I think I have hypothermia. Moses I've got income. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill.
undergrads.
Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been as happy in years. the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. Dang, Safi snagged a good stuff from the snapping turtle. Safi's second favorite oral fixation. Moses and Safi have been friends for years. Maybe he could help. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Hey, Moses, casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a little. Thank you. 
got some serious graph action going on here. I wonder if Moses knows how to get Sophie to talk. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now, but Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. this bottle cap somewhere that Safi won't find suspicious. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. Safi's like bonkers protective of that bag usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. I'm not above relaxing my principles to give Safi that bottle cap. There might be some other hiding places up here that could work. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Okay, no big deal. I just need to outsmart the sharpest person I know. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm.
Okay, I'll leave you to your muse. Nice try, Max. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. And nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. Never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. 
Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Yeah. All good. Just busy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always... Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just waiting to suddenly appear. Everything I know Call the end I promise this is what you want What if I'm dreaming And please don't wake me up
chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always existed there. Just the father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad jokes. Call me crazy, but I know that's everything I know. Call the end, I promise this is what you want. Don't see Safi around. I wonder how far she wandered off. Please don't. Sophie, she seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Hang on. Oh, Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought...
Safi. Safi? Hey. You okay? to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, all those people lived, but you died because of me. It's never fair, is it? I miss you so fucking much, Chloe. If I could undo your death, Safi, I'd do it without a second thought. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't.
care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. A punk band out of Oakland. She was enthusiastic. Fuck, she went through all of that alone. place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas too. I hate imagining what Yasmin went through writing this post. I wish I'd been there to hear Sophie read it.
the high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but you'd be wrong. I honestly hoped they'd help me understand Safi better. But now, what's the point? When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. If I'm going to see Amanda, I should put on something vaguely human-like. Now, to take care of downstairs. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten. This computer has come back more times than Jason Voorhees. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write, let alone to keep that professional tone all the way through. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here, and I owe it to her to make time should she need it. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house.
An album probably makes more sense, but don't hate waking up to these every morning. Sophie. Mmm, grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. I'm clean. The rest of the house? Not so much. Haven't been down to the dark room in a minute. It's dark enough up here lately. No sign of Amanda yet. I've still got time. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. It may get panned as schlock, but the Brain Bucket Saga is my break glass in case of depression go-to. been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. How sad is it that this goofy ass thing reminds me of Sophie? I've already cried through like four boxes of tissues. No personal record. I don't think I've handed these to see a two ply monument to my sadness today. Legend has it, Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription.
One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. Leave it to my very normal brain to respond to my most recent loss by fixating on the last one. Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Good to know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Congrats, Victoria. I'm honestly proud of you. Even if you sent me this to rub it in. Joyce sent me this one. She really captured you here. Saw you the way... I always did. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I 
I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Max. I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell works. It's a uh, lovely weather we're having out here, but it's probably nicer indoors. Just so you know, how long does it take for frostbite to set in? Asking for a friend. Is it possible to pick a lock with an icicle? Asking for a different friend. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. Max, if you went back to sleep, I swear I'll... I'll do my stand-up set on repeat at full volume. Shutterbud420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. Lakeport cop investigating Safi's death. Safi's murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for hours and hours. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Should let Amanda in before she freezes. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. You're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to? I mean, she was just- God, how embarrassing. I'm falling apart right in front of you. Sorry for it. Don't you dare. You are hereby ordered to be nice to yourself. I'll begrudgingly admit it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. What? It's a common turn of phrase. <laughs> you're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just gonna tweet through it then? <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. 
You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. I'm really not up for it, Amanda. Oh, come on. I've never had my picture taken by anybody famous before. <laughs> you have an extremely loose definition of famous. Isn't that why you're here? Bringing prestige to humble Caledon. Sure. <laughs> Something like that. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice. How about you give me something stoic? Hmm, supermodel. <laughs> Got it.
How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter balm. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk.
Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi too. Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. I shouldn't keep Yasmin waiting too long. The thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. I used to hate this statue, down with the patriarchy and everything, but it's a memorial to Safi now. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us, Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? No turtle for me. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. All been so scary, you know? It's exactly why I'm here, to help everyone feel safe. You know what I think would actually help a lot? If we all just knew a little bit more about what's going on. Sorry, I'm not at liberty to discuss any facts of the case. Of course, I totally understand. Is there anything that you can tell us? A graduate student was found dead on campus. The circumstances of her death require further investigation. That's really all I can say. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Have you been on the force long? About five years. Is this the first college campus you've had to babysit? She's gone. This feels so surreal. You know, you might not make a half bad cop yourself one day. I have other plans. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? Were you left here on purpose? Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it back. Where is this going?
Where is this going? I see. It's a haiku. I wonder who made this. things are all over campus, except where Safi actually needed one. I shouldn't keep Yasmin waiting too long. This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. I should head to the admin building. Reggie's so pissed off. Graffiti Rock looks so naked. Whoa, very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Shit's all yours if you want it. What's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The Founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. An 
eye for detail, huh? Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. for detail, huh? And? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. You saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I, I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. Safi's murder brought the whole campus to a standstill. It touched everybody. Yasmin's office is down the hall. <laughs> 